How to implement an LMS. Part 6, Rollout, Planning and Configuration. In this sixth article of the series, How to Implement an LMS, we will be diving into the details of the rollout planning process. Here's what you have to do to experience success in this phase. LMS Implementation Project Team. The team will create the master implementation project plan, including a solid timeline with milestones all the way to completion. Implementation Strategy and Timeline. The implementation of the LMS bears some careful thought and discussion among the members of the team. Tip. Don't choose the most resistant areas for first implementation. You'll need to make decisions related to your data and operations, such as the ones that follow. User Profiles. What user demographics data do you need? Possibilities include name, contact information, job function, employment status, the length of tenured, hire date, and anything else you think may be useful. Domains and audiences. Identify major groupings of users that need entirely different points of access, such as employees versus customers, or employees by region or major function. Administration roles and permissions. You'll need to set up the areas that different team members have access within the particular roles. Course listings and metadata. Think about the different properties of the course that make sense for how users will access different kinds of courses. Structure for courses and curriculum. Each course may have any number of different learning activities that need to happen in a sequence. Assessment and evaluation. Hopefully your LMS includes a native ability to create assessments and evaluations. Otherwise, you will need to use a third-party testing surveying tool that will need to integrate with your LMS. Competencies. Employees should be able to search for courses to develop or improve the competencies they're required to have. Notifications. These can range from alerts to reminders to confirmations. Report. You'll also have to be able to export reports for further manipulation, especially formatting. The final step. With a great project team, implementation plan, and solid configuration choices under your belt, you will be ready for the final steps of the implementation process, which I will cover in the next video.